All right, we are back. And my curiosity has been piqued. I kind of want to see what Charlotte's going to say to us. So, is that, that, is that still that guy? Goats. Just making circles. Let's just beat him a little bit. For lying to folks. Oops. Well, he was a lemon. Calm down. He was acting his damn bit out. Calm down. What do you have on him? He should be rich. Ripping these people off for who knows how long. What do we got? Anything? Platinum band. Okay. Didn't feel bad about that in the least. All right, straight north, basically. That's where we're going. Sorry, mister. Maybe plot a course on here, find the best way to get up there. Back up to Charlotte. Let's keep an eye on the, all right. Never find the temperature that way. Does it switch over? It does, okay. Just that reminder that we're always wanted. This guy is still hating me. Not sure why I slowed down for him. I can't be killing these guys all the time. It takes too long. I'm running with these guys about once an episode at this point. Pretty much the new enemies at this point. I haven't seen... Oh, that guy's still chasing me. I haven't seen any O'Driscolls in... I don't even know how many episodes it's been. They're not even my enemy anymore, as far as I'm concerned, but... Once we go down and see Sadie, I'm sure it'll get reignited. But yeah, it doesn't taste as sweet when we inevitably rub out Coleman O'Driscoll. It's not the rivalry it's been made out to be at this point, you know? Alright, you wanna die? I can... I'll kill you. Both dead. You happy? Anyway. We had to pick up on that thought from last episode regarding Charlotte. Last time she saw us, we kind of passed out in her kitchen. And uh, from tuberculosis. From a fit. I think that was the last time I passed out. So... Most folks are just like, you don't look all right, Arthur. And then they'll make fun of me or say something just kind of rude or just, it just, I don't get the sense that folks care. All the good that Arthur has done for everybody. Where's the compassion? So we'll see. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. He's like, what? <laughs> Tis a long ride, that's for sure. It's temperature up here. Still in the 20s? No? Maybe once. I cross over here. Okay. Hey, Charlotte. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean <laughs> it. Like... I know. <laughs> Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing. There which is go. an improvement on the last time you saw me. Huh. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. 
Please. I've been helping her. What are you talking about? Yeah. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well. We never changed names. You take care of yourself, Arthur. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> that smile. Well. Please go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What? What's mine is yours. Oh. Well, that's very kind. I'm not going in your. All right, I'll go in your house. <laughs> Nothing in here though. Well, that was sweet. Mary can't be bothered to write me a third time, but this woman who I've, I don't know, it's hard to say objectively helped more or less, but but she's the only one that seems to care. I guess that's it. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. Can't but wonder if uh, Arthur didn't contract tuberculosis if the two of them could have had a future together. <sighs> Guess I'm getting sentimental here. Let's head over to uh, see Hamish. Do some hunting with him. You can see we're slowly working our way over to that top left section with uh, rain. I forget his exact name, but that guy. I was thinking about something after I quit the last episode that uh, the Dutch sort of ingratiated himself with the Native Americans and then we know sort of like in the future say future but you know the first hello <laughs> what is this get out of you think you a lawman go to hell hey you ain't got no business being here Money, tough guy. Now. You better turn heel right now, you hear me? Now, come on. Ah, oh, you're done! Ow! Ah! This guy murdered and robbed this fella. What? Who's here? See nothing. Anyway. I can stand to come back a little bit. I got the uh, achievement for being super honorable so anyway you ain't the law man come on all right whatever but yeah dutch you know working with the natives and um in the first game eight years in the future we see him sort of you know still with the native americans they're protecting him or whatever so I wonder if they're kind of laying the, the groundwork for that. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember too much about who exactly he was holed up with in the first game near the end, but there you go. We'll see what kind of hunting we can do with Hamish here. Maybe since we got that legendary trout last time or whatever the hell it was, we can get some kind of legendary rabbit or something. I feel like there's a rabbit on the map near him. I forget. Let's see what we come up with though. Come on. A lot of good hunting around here. Just looking around. Hey, mister. Super uh, bubbly for a guy who's well got a terminal illness. Basically. 50. Grizzlies. We're not in wanted territory anymore. That's a plus. Everything's a trek out here. Finally made it. Hamish! Take the stick. No? Go around the front like we do. Here we go. Hamish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. 
You're two of my favorite people. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. Hamish and I Charlotte. Did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but yeah. she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. <laughs> I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. Wait, I wanted to hear that. <laughs> Why would they cut away from that? The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <laughs> Those were bad times. Civil War. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? I was probably just a kid then. Please. Hoo-wee! <laughs> she will? What have we here? Oh. Yeah. She's right across there. It's good that hunting, goes. I guess. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. <laughs> Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. <sighs> Kinda reminds me of that left. gunslinger from the, the first game. The John befriended. Who Won't was protecting that so Mexican to town. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. <laughs> it's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, no neither. country for old men. Not anymore, it seems. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now. This way. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. Beautiful. Loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. <laughs> what we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Oof. <laughs> yep. That was her dinner. <laughs> now, where'd she get to? My guess. She's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. <laughs> That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. Huh. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. I probably get a right. shot her from here. Come on. Got scope yeah. weapons. Yeah, this is the life I feel I missed out on. I should have quit the gang. Oh, said Too goodbye slow. to Dutch. It looks like she's headed into the wood. Not even said goodbye to his ditch. Have to track her through the scrub. Better to be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Uh. Go, boy. There's a wolf about. You went in there, all right. We got a tracker. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? If you don't I want mind, you get hurt. I'd like to. Okay, get tracked. I'll be close behind you. <sighs> yeah, settle down with Charlotte. Teach her a thing or two about surviving in the frontier. I got the Hamish could come over, we'd go hunting together. Have nice evenings by the fire. Three of us. You could tell us war stories. We could eat. Whatever we caught out in the wild. Take it slow. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. You 
see anything yet. Just tracks. Get down, Hamish. Come on, ain't you ever tracked nothing before? It can happen. She runs off with the chicken. <laughs> well, I'm fine with losing chickens. I lost a little. Hey, up there. <gasps> he walked into something. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Be good either after all that. Stay back. Stay back. Infernal wolves. I'll Hello. say. You all right? You all right? I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the <laughs> wolves would have shown much mercy. <laughs> That's quite an ambush she led us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. <laughs> huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh! Jeez. You all right? I was about to fail me. Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? She pushed you out That's of the, the way. Best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> They brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? <laughs> nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't neither. <laughs> Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. <laughs> so long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. Crawl the animal pelt. Oh, now you show back up. That's fine. I didn't tell you to get lost. He could speak the stories he'd tell. <laughs> I guess I should skin these other ones for the meat, right? I'll probably eat some meat too after that damage I took. And fatten myself up. Let's see what we got here. Could have sworn I had. Are those not under a different. Huh. And where the hell's all my. my meat that I. Salted beef. Huh. I don't know. Let's eat it, though. What kind of wolf you gotta be to get this big? <laughs> To do the blood splatter on the camera thing, it's not poor wolf pelt. Pelt. Drop that crap. Skin this bigger one. I feel like the paw print looks a little bigger on this. I don't know. I can't tell. It's him or us. Satchel. Big game meat. Oh, we'll fart. Ah, uh, yeah. Maxed out. Can be sold. Plain big game. Is that is that the stuff I cooked? Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm looking at. Lion's paw. 
Okay, there it is. Glad I found that during this episode. How many of these have I got? Is that just one? I guess just one. It's for the horse. Oh, okay. I guess you could have different types of meat within there. Tender pork, I got just the one minty. Interesting. Alright. How we doing? I've been eating every day. Still underweight. Alright. Still get some more meat though. Uncooked meat. Let's do this one, then we'll take off. Head up and see rain fall. Rains fall. I think that's the name. Poor well spelt. All right. And right by you. All right. Yeah, we gotta sell some of these when we get a chance. So I guess I haven't really been up here. Weapons forbidden. Is that... Is that a thing? Do I gotta leave my weapons behind there? I don't know, we'll see. Let's just head up there and see what happens. If I could just get back to... Yep. A trail. Without hitting a rock for a change. Clear night. Bright night. Right, you got the scent, citrus. I take a sip. A sip of tea. It's a nice shot there. Look at that. Doesn't look like you got this. <laughs> a little deviating from the path there. That's nice though. Yeah, it's a nice road down. Someone camping here? Hey, he's either. Make it a point to sleep. We never do that. Maybe this fellow will share his campfire with us. Hey there. Howdy. Hey, mister. Fire is always better with company. Come and rest. Thank you. How you doing today? So where are you from, friend? I am from Mexico. I left because my best friend, a man I'd known my whole life, betrayed me. Wow. And why am I telling you this? Because off... Sir, keep talking. Can I cook like multiple of this Only at once? strangers is the best kind. Yeah. The closer we get, the more cruel we Too become. true, friend. See, you know it too. I don't know how well you know the town of uh, Annisburg, but they tell a story of three brothers, close as can be, until greed destroyed them. They'd found gold together, but one of them ran off with it all. Now, the three of them lie dead. That's how it goes. They say the brother marked the spot where he'd hidden the gold with tree carvings until he was followed there and shot dead by one of the other brothers. Damn. As far as I know, it's never been found. And neither has the body of my best friend. Hmm. 
How about that? Well, I've rested long enough. You and me both, man. How's it been? Uh, is this not your camp? Is this just a <laughs> camp for anyone who wants? Okay. Like a rest stop on the highway. That's cool. Wouldn't let me sleep there. Might have to make my own fire in that case. What do we got now? Hey, careful how you go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Sorry. Good luck. Probably gonna be eating my wolves. Probably see his carcass on the way back. What Petey. No weapon. Alright. As long as I don't have to disarm or anything like that. Or give all my weapons temporarily. I'll be right back. Hello, mister. You would be wise to leave here. You do not belong. Not until I find rains fall. Promise Charles. Uh, Can't really knock on a tent. Come in. Felt like a Mitch Hedberg <clears throat> joke there. Can't slam the door on a tent in anger. You don't sound very well. Don't tell me you got the cure for TB. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? Huh. I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious. And also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, huh. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. Yes, he does. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But, uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Really? Glad awesome. I called you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, what? Captain? I was just in San Denis. Folk. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. And healing. Give him some space. Captain. She's gonna push you out of the way. Careful. Hey, get a hold of that horse, Mr. Morgan. 
coming through. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure. Oh, sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. I like this guy, anyway. Come meet me on the reservation whenever Chief. you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. So where are we going? Anyway, I noticed. gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Nice. I think it's interesting the uh I've been given choices like back to back whether or not I want to help these yeah. people. I mean first Charles asked me and now this guy's asking me. But I was also gonna say, uh this guy mentions See that his son has sort of been taken horse? for a ride by Dutch and Brutality like a Charles uh, are uh, Arthur's us. the same way, you know? Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah. Go on, get out of here. Good. There was no need to harm them. Yeah. So you got herbs for me? We can talk Help with my car, want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Ah. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. Now, I was saying, but... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. No. It took a long time for me. To learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Huh, too true. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that... If we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. And I worry a lot of folks gonna get caught in the crossfire yeah including eagle flies so what can we do I ain't quite nice. sure drift just wanted you to know the situation ah, thank that's you cool mr. Morgan assuming I'm doing all right let me give this some thought <laughs> he's moving pretty well he's definitely more control over citrus you know, I had a son once, years ago. Did I? Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. Wait, stop here. Ugh. I want to pick. Come some on, I need to. <laughs> we can talk more about this. I later. know nothing about Arthur. It seems like. Oh. Hello, little fox. Go away. We'll combine well. 
are you doing? <laughs> What's he doing? Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Curious little fox. Is that a fox? That it looks like that. Looks like a possessed dog. Mix these together. Like fox the dog? It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Do I have a dog now? All right, let's go. It's not much further now. You were saying before you rode off? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Jesus. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Huh. Glad I haven't been a dick. Oh, yeah, sickness. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and... He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in... Me? Dutch and the others. I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. Huh. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I guess there's no Native American miracle cure for Tuberculosis. It's just up ahead. Wishful thinking, I guess. What's happened? No. What? It can't be. What is no! this? They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. <laughs> Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Huh. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Keep thinking he's saying Chalupa. It's making me hungry. Do they still have those? Focus, Tony, focus. Army flask. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. This is a place of peace. Look there! Smoke! What? Mr. Morgan, the 
There's someone down there. Oh yeah. Do you have any binoculars? I think Citrus has. All right, I have some. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Huh. Now they've taken the last hope. Want me to now my bust some deserving teeth? War. I can help with that. Can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Nice. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. <laughs> I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always go the way you plan. Yeah, no promises. Hey, boy. Now let's see what we can do. Should be good and liquored up. It's France near Canada. France is near. It's near France. Well, it's in France. <laughs> Indians is from here. It seems like he's definitely breaking their necks or something, but. Alright. Nobody else is moving, are they? Huh? Uh oh. Probably should have moved that body, Hitman style. Must be imagining things. Go out a bit further. Looks like they'd see me right there, but I don't know. What's that? 
stopping. I'm putting you down. Well, that's all right. Got a lot of them. I tried. Not too shabby. Alright, let's see if we can find this thing. Probably in this main tent. Or stimulant. Gun oil. Always need that. Uh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Obviously. Alright. Hopefully you can uh, yep. hear any of that. <laughs> or see. Sun's finally starting to come up. Please tell me you found it. Certainly yeah. did. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. Huh. People, the heart, matter more. Was well, I just killed hurt? a lot of them. Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. That's the idea. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe... I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Huh. That was a good mission. I'm glad I uh, agreed to talk to him. Thank you, Charles. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Yeah. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. We are changing. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Archaeology for beginners. There you go. All right, we'll break here. And we'll pick up in the next... What is that? What is that waypoint there? Hey, it's my guy's lake. <laughs> Why did it... Ha it was like in a weird color. Oh, the Captain Monroe is up there, yeah. Yeah, while well, we're still in the area, we should probably do that. Um, okay. Okay. Maybe another hunting mission will crop up, or we can help rainfall, uh, rains fall again. But yeah, see you in the next episode. Should be good.